until this point, we've had no laws in place. We've had really nothing out there to prevent people from doing this. And I want to introduce from in our audience State Assemblyman Matt Debabne, who is co-author of a, a new bill. And really a shout out to Jordan and what he went through. Tell us about that. Like many of the people in my community saw the horrific attack on the local newscast and then ironically saw it all over social media. And I knew immediately we had to act. So we reached out to Ed very quickly in the process and offered our condolences. Um, but what I found when I first talked to Ed wasn't just a grieving father. And it wasn't just someone that was angry or mad. There's someone that really wanted to get involved and said, I want to make sure no other parent gets a phone call I got, that no other child in our community experiences the horrors and tragedy that Jordan still deals with till today. And so he said, I want to work with you, Assemblymember Dubovny. I want to make sure we can prevent this in our community. So I went back and I talked to my colleagues and I talked to my staff and we started drafting legislation. And what we found, this was not an isolated incident. This is really, unfortunately, an epidemic we're seeing throughout our community and really our country. And we've come up with Jordan's Law. And it'll basically say that anyone that conspires or plans an attack uh, with a perpetrator that we saw in Jordan's case, uh, to film that attack, to put on social media, they will also face criminal charges. And the thank you. And the attacker will also have to face further charges for the motivation of planning and carrying out that attack for the purpose of putting it on social media. And it's just a purpose of keeping our government and our laws up to date with the technology. That is that is an incredible development. Right. It's such a, it's like a call to action. You, know, you have to introspect and say, why am I doing this? And now if you're gonna be culpable for doing it, it really makes these kids and adults accountable. Accountable. Uh, really quickly oh, before we go. The social media sites where these videos do get posted, do you feel like you're getting support from them? They've actually been very good partners in a lot of the, the conversation you've had with different sites. I know Facebook is doing a lot to prevent uh, suicides and other acts of violence from going on their platform. I know we were talking to a lot of other social media sites. They don't want this on their platforms. They know that this is something that obviously they want to help us uh, make sure that there's no incentive to put these type of attacks on their platforms and we're gonna to continue to work with them but we just wanna make sure that from parents to students to everyone in our community knows that there's gonna be consequences that if you are a willing participant in an attack, whether you're throwing that punch or you're holding that camera, if you had prior knowledge and were part of the planning of the attack, you will face consequences. Well, well man, I'm, I'm impressed that, that our lawmakers like yourself are, are thinking and, and dealing with how society has changed. There's so many yeah. new issues that we didn't, that I didn't yeah. deal with growing up that, that you yeah. now have to deal with, and uh, you should be thank applauded. You. Well, thank you, Jordan. Jordan, Ed, thank you so much. Matt, thank you. thank you as well. We really appreciate it. More to come.